in the South Fayette School District. They are mourning a former softball player. 2020 graduate Lauren Burnett died this morning. KDKA Shelly Bortz joins us live in McDonald after talking with one of her former teammates. Shelly. Well, Lauren Burnett played on this field right behind me for four years before taking her talents to James Madison University. Now, the university announced her tragic death this morning, rocking this tight knit community. Um, heartbroken. Abby Neal was a sophomore on the South Fayette softball team when Lauren Burnett was a senior. She shared these pictures with KDKA. Neal tells me she looked up to Burnett, not only as an older teammate, but a friend you could turn to in time of need. Even though she graduated two years ago, Neal says her loss was felt at school today. She definitely was a light. Um, she really, on those hard days, she definitely, she definitely was uplifting. She definitely was a team team leader. Burnett, a sophomore at James Madison University, had been the Duke's starting catcher the past two seasons. She helped take the team to the College World Series in 2021. Just yesterday, she was named the Colonial Athletic Association Player of the Week following a weekend series in which she went 7-4-9 with seven RBIs, four runs scored, and a home run. She was a really good batter. Um, I'm not sure her batting average, but she was one of our top hitters on our team. In a statement to KDKA, JMU President James Alger says in part, our hearts are aching hearing the news of the loss of one of our student athletes. Lauren Burnett was a high achieving member of our softball team and a great ambassador of JMU and our athletics program. Our thoughts are with her family, her coaches, teammates and friends. Neil tells me she will remember Burnett for much more than being a great softball player. She taught me a lot about how to be myself. Definitely to remind myself that I stay true to who you are. No cause of yet has been announced. Now I've reached out to the Sheriff's Department there in Rockingham County, Virginia, and am waiting to hear back. Reporting live in McDonald tonight, Shelley Wards, KDKA News.